intramuscular, so there's a bit of a triangle in here. Hey. Got a wee party of cows for me this morning. Good morning, Holly. There we are, we can What a be? That's all already done. Are you bad this? Yeah, we're stuck. Good morning. I'm at yard two at the moment, just in the field where the cows are, having a wee run round. I'm checking that calf from yesterday that was looking a bit slow. That's the wee fella there. He's made his way to the batch of all the others. And jump out and check if he's had a belly full of grub. That's her in the distance there, so I'm not 100% sure on that one. I'm gonna give her a jag of selenium and vitamin E, just to be on the cautious side of things. Intramuscular, so there's a bit of a triangle in here. Neck muscle, which is where you want to jag. Down here, you've got pipe work into your stomach and lungs and whatnot, so big bit of muscle up there, perfect. There you go. Give it a rub just so it doesn't come back out of the hole again. Work it in a wee bit. Hopefully that'll sort her out. Put the cover back on the needle. And you go beast. Hi boy. Do you think Percy's head alone weighs more than Lulu? I would think so. Morning, Kev's. Kev's just starting to tackle all this dung. <laughs> it's quite a bit. All these gates and feeders need to come outside as well. Oh, easy does it, easy does it. There we go. Quite a big load that. Right, I'm in the sunflowers. Let's see if we've got any action yet. See if we can find a seed for a start. There's only five kilo in every hectare, so they're not the easiest things to find. And they're black. <laughs> Not like barley or whatnot, that's golden. I've just looked for a seed for 10 minutes. So, can't find any. The seeds are black. And when the soil's wet, it's quite a dark color, so I can't see the seeds. So A, they're not there, or B, I've got bad eyesight. Hopefully the latter. Right, that dozy calf. It's a wee bit better this morning. It seems a bit better, but got an injection here of selenium and vitamin E. What's it called? What do you actually call this stuff? Flatulex. 40. Flatalex 40? There you go. Flatalex 40. 3 mil intramuscular. Jobs are good. They seem to be enjoying sitting right down in the corner of this field. Furthest away point from the gate. That looks like her there. Hopefully that'll sort her out. Kev's got an issue with uh, the axle on the trailer he's been shifted done with, so we're going to see what the issue is. Need one of these. Hopefully don't need this. So, what's happened down here? So the axle relative to the leaf has shifted this way a bit. On the U-bolts, the nuts are seized. This one's this one will come off, but these three are getting the grinder. We've tried heating them up, no action. Oh jeez. This meant to be a pin that indexes in there. It's either broken or it's I don't know what's happened to it, but the pin is now over here-ish. Should be lined up with that. We've done everything we can at this corner, ordered some parts, so we're doing that side as well. Took a wheel off here to get in at access to here to cut that U-bolt. So we've got this one done, these holes are almost lined up, they're easy enough to line up. Same with that side, so we're now just waiting on parts, Dad's going away to try and order some. So it's getting abandoned for now. We also noticed that another one of the sets of leaf springs, one of the leaves shifted out of position, so the pin that holds them all together on that one's broken as well. So strip that down, cut the cut the U-bolts, 
it's not worth trying to get those nuts off it's all right so we'll cut the u-bolts on that as well so we'll get four u-bolts ordered and with the nuts and two pins for it could just put bolts in as pins but they're probably like will they be hardened no you don't want to be brittle i don't know if they'll be special pins yeah we didn't get that far because we had a breakdown kev's probably got that quarter to the read done before he realized that the axle was goosed right we're gonna let this down just so kev can get his tractor off the front of it don't know if you can tell but it's sitting pretty caddy wampus it's tailing off that way just because because the bed's up the weight's on the back and the springs aren't connected on that side so it's coping over that way it'll square up a bit as the bed comes down that'll do it it's letting it down now see it's coming down onto the axle there this field's about nine hectares eight or nine somewhere about that and there's one one bit that holds a wee bit of water sometimes right where they're standing genius genius down in this hollow they've all just come and poached up the bit the only bit basically in this field which is a wee bit soft at the moment maybe like on the feet nice and soft hey right just coming to check that calf and see if there's anything different about it after giving it that jag of selenium and vitamin e it should be relatively quickly if that's the issue it should turn around pretty quick and you'll know about it that's it there Hey Beast. I think she's a bit more lively now. Earlier on I came over and she would not budge. She's been drinking anyway, she's got a right good belly full, so. You right? Yo, you need a tag. Have you lost a tag as well? 91. Oh. I tagged her yesterday. Did I tag her yesterday? I'm sure she's lost it already. Also, they figured out where the trough was. They all figured it out at once. Here's the video. Right, good morning. I'm going to spray. Open this up, get the sprayer out. There she is. Okay, yard number three we're at, up to the top there where there's a field of wheat to do. So this wheat is getting some disease control for eye spot and septoria, as well as some growth regulators in the tank as well, because this field's not had any growth, growth reg yet, just to avoid it shooting up too high and coping over. So I've got a 17 hectare field to do up here, which I'll get done with one tank. So 3,200 litres in the tank. So if I was doing a 16 hectare field and 3,200 litres in the tank, That'd be easy, 200 litres a hectare, um, but 17 hectares to do, so it's a 17th of 3200, which is 186, 7, somewhere in there. I'll use a calculator. Right, I've just cut open a wee stem of wheat here with my, oh damn it, with our new freebie to feature knife, can't beat a freebie. So we're currently at growth stage 31, so that that bit just between my... I didn't have enough fingers, but point out with a knife here. So we're at growth stage 31, which is determined by the gap between this point here and this first node is a centimetre or more, which is just there now. So that's node number one, that dark bit. That dark bit above it will be node number two. And then there's more dark bits, more dark bits. Growth stage 32 will be when the next node, which will be another bit of white like that, reaches more than two centimetres. Growth stage 31 that we're at just now, that's when we're wanting to get on with this um, disease control. And we're off. Sprayer's working well, nice day for it, it's to rain later, so the idea is to crack on now. There's some stats for anyone wanting stats. Dial it back to 182, it's meant to be 188, but um, I didn't want to run short in this field because I'm only coming up here with one tank and it's a bit out of the way. Um, yeah, 300 litres left, I'm just about done. I've not reset that, I've not done 400 hectares. And there's your flow rate, agitation's about down to 0% just because there's hardly anything in the tank. Um, it'll end up putting air through the nozzles if you have agitation at a low tank level. 
dialed the rate back just a few litres a hectare, just one, so I do not run out because there's no water tank up in this yard and I don't want to come back to this yard again, just do it all in one tank, done. And also ins and outs, it's not 100% accurate this machine, you've got wee bits of overlap here and there, so you need to account for that and reduce your rate fractionally. Last tram line, everything else is done in this field, 17 hectares, done, checked off, out the way, that's this field done, now we're going to this field. Next field is 25 hectares, so split that over two tanks. I cut that really fine, just got to the tram line here to turn the booms off, and I've got six litres left. So that just shows you, I dropped it by two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I dropped it by six litres a hectare um, to make sure I covered it and that covered all my ins and outs, six litres a hectare, so what is that? That means all my ins and outs and all my overlaps ended up working out as 3.2%. So 3.2% of this field has got double the rate because there's overlaps. It's not got auto shut off or anything like that on this sprayer. So when I'm coming up to this tram line, I'm just manually turning it off. So I'm not getting it bang on. So you're going to have wee overlaps as you go along. So that's, that's worked out today as 3.2%. That's where the new sprayer comes into play. You get individual nozzle control, that 3.2% becomes, you'll still get a fraction, but it'll just be like 0.1% maybe. So you're gonna save 3% basically of your sprayer bill. You won't save your sprayer bill because you're still putting the same chemicals on. It's just you're getting a more even coverage. Effectively, you're saving 3% of your sprayer bill. And then if you top up all your, all your chemical going through the sprayer this year, the price of that, then if you move on to a bit of liquid fertilizer, that 3% becomes a lot of money over a few years. This sprayer does have the ability to have unlocked sex, section control. We should have done it years ago, never did it, don't know why, don't ask me. But we should have done that, but it's not worth doing now because in the next year or two, we're, gonna, we're, ch we're going to change it. So it's not worth spending that value to get your 3%. It's not worth it over two years. Fold this up, go and fill up onto the next field of wheat. So I cut sometimes when I lie in a shade I keep getting people are saying I need to replace that uh, windscreen wiper which yes I do I need to clean my cab which yes I do <laughs> I, I will do it eventually I will, I will There's a lot of sticklers out there for a clean cab Ideally yes I'd have this a lot cleaner I need to clean it I've not got around to it. It is getting quite deep. See the rain coming. I've got a tank and a half to go. Oh, am I going to make it? I don't know, I don't know. It's meant to come kind of mid-afternoon. It's currently half 12 at the moment. I don't want to empty this tank and then go and try and fill up and then it start raining. Oh no, the first spots of rain. It's come sooner than I thought. It's still on the first tank, 600 litres left. Oh no, and just like that, we need the wiper that's broken. <laughs> After this, I'm gonna go and get one of them. I'm gonna do it, I promise. I think it's time to abandon ship. We're empty anyway. Ah, oh, that's just typical. But to be fair, we're looking for rain, so we can't complain. Hopefully there's a decent amount of rain. We don't want anything really heavy, just want a nice, trickle of rain for the next, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 hours, 6, 7 mil maybe, would be nice. I'm not asking for much other than constant flow rate and exact amount of uh, rain. Right, just so remember, I've done bang up to the middle of the school grounds. There's a school at the bottom, that's why this is called the school field. So I've done in the middle, one to the left to do. Had this wee calf born this morning, there's his mother, who's, she seems all right. It was obviously a relatively easy one because by the time I got to it, it was up and drying away, no bother. I don't need to get its navel, but it's already too quick for me. Let me just get the tag of it. So it's 7-1 it's and the mother's 8-1-5. Yeah, 8-1-5. Got three to go. She, she looks like a bull. Anyway, this wee patch is not that much grass with three on it. So I'm going to, hopefully I'll just lift up the calf and the cow will follow me. And I'll take her out the gate and down to the bottom gate and put her into that pen where there's more grass. Cow seems quite motherly, so hopefully she just follows me. So either follow me no bother, follow me too quickly and mow me down, or three, not follow me and charge off down the road. Hopefully number one. Good luck. 
Well, I need the look. Okay, it's the next day. We've had some rain, smashing. Just come out to have a look at these sunflowers and there you go. Just there, that was them coming out of the seed there. So they've germinated, the seed's starting to develop. So the seed would have been lying in the ground like that. The stem's now just trying to point up the way, the head to the surface. So we'll put it back in. And then there's a slug pellet. So hopefully the slugs will eat all of those and the slugs will all be dead. Give them maybe another week we're through the ground. Here comes the dog. Come on. Hey, dog. Got the new U bolts. So, four of them and the locator pins. There you go. So, these go through the leaf springs. The wee stud at the top, the head of the stud that locates the leaf spring um, onto the axle, keeps it in the right position so nothing can shift about. Lovely sight. I'm out again. Have a look at this calf, where is it? That might be it there, number 70. No, you're not 70, 68. Here's 70. Look how much perkier she is now. A lot better, a lot better. I've just managed to grab her there. Her belly's full, she's up, she's tearing about. Smash it, I think she's absolutely fine. Pretty content with that calf now. Seems absolutely fine. Right, anyway, walking the shop. Cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Cheers.